My name is Doreen Villanueva. I am the chair of Las Contemporáneas. We are a, a group that works with the museum uh, to bring in more uh, Latino events to the museum and also to uh, try to bring the community to Ventura and uh, look at the different uh, venues that are here at the museum. 
And tonight's event is uh, the Latina Film Festival. This is our second year. Our first year we did the short film festival and that was a great event. We honored Michelle Cerros at that time. Tonight it's uh, some short films that we'll be showing along with Evelina Fernandez's uh, films. And uh, the woman that we are paying tribute to has uh, been acting for many years. She is a powerhouse. Uh, she has written, uh, directed, produced movies, uh, started out in Zoot Suit, uh, uh, and has in Luminarias, which she wrote. Uh, it was in American Me. She was Julie with uh, Edward Olmos and various other TV programs that she's been in. But uh, we're also showcasing some short films tonight of some talented women who uh, have uh, done some excellent work. One is Unique Ladies, that is by Gloria Moran, and it's about women lowriders. Uh, one is uh, On the Tracks, uh, about women helping each other by Dulce Stein. And uh, one is On the Femicide at Juarez uh, by Karen Farfan, and it's a trailer that we're showing. She uh, was working on uh, the film, but it uh, she didn't finish it in time. It's, an, it's really a powerful film. Uh, and then uh, one that we're going to be showing tomorrow is Homebound. So we're showing that trailer tonight. But if people can come tomorrow and Sunday to see Homebound, uh, Fanny Vel Velis is a uh, talented director, actress. She's in the movie herself. And uh, we will have that tomorrow Sunday at 2 o'clock. But this venue, uh, we decided to, to start it so that we could have more women share their voices so we could hear their stories. They have Latina women have very many stories to tell. Hi, I'm really happy to be here at the Ventura County Museum and at this very special event uh, by Las Contemporáneas. Las Contemporáneas, and I'm really just really proud to be honored by these lovely ladies that do such important work here at the museum. Um, what they do is they raise money for the museum so that there can be more Latino artists um, as part of the exhibits at this museum. So um, this is part of what they do. And and so I'm just like really happy to be in Ventura. I haven't been here in, in ages and it's a really lovely uh, little city. And I'm just really happy to be here. So my name is Karen Farfan and I'm here to present my documentary, the trailer for my documentary is called uh, Daughters of Femicide. And basically we're trying to bring attention to the topic of femicide, which is not really recognized around the world, but it's basically the killing of women uh, because they are female, and girls of course because they are female. So we want to try to bring this attention through a documentary that can connect to people on an emotional level. So here we are. And this is uh, Tracy, Joyce. Tracy Joyce. She and I are, are writing the, the trailer together. We've written the documentary together as well. So yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. You, you want to add anything? <laughs> uh, I think you covered it, but uh, we want to do a lot of good for these families in Mexico. And we want to get their voices out there. And um, their activism does count. And uh, it will make a difference with this film. So. You, yeah, we also like to make a, uh, that this trailer is just covering a part of Mexico, but the actual the reality is femicide is throughout the world. It's e happening everywhere, and it needs to be recognized, it needs to be paid attention, and we really need to realize what we're doing to our women and our young girls around the world, including here in the United States, some in the places here in Ventura County. So, that's it. <laughs> Uh, we the first part of our documentary does take place in Juarez, and it puts focus onto a man by the name of Don, uh, Don Jose Luis, who lost his daughter about six years ago through a, a trafficking ring, and he has become the voice of his community. He has taken so many risks, uh, including his life and that of his own family, to bring attention to the topic of femicide and the disappearances that are occurring in that city. Um, what people don't understand that this similar kind of cases where young girls are missing and disappearing in the United States, uh, disappearing from homes are being taken from the streets and, you know, either sold for uh, trafficking or whatever it is uh, that they usually do. It's also happening in Canada as well. So it's, and it usually happens to families of low income because they can't afford to defend themselves. So um, that's one of the things we also want to bring attention to as well is how it's happening here in the Americas. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we're docu doing documentaries, it takes 
It takes time according to what's happening to the story because we are covering reality. We are not covering a story that we're making up. It's taken us two years to cover what we have so far. And that's because the story keeps changing and the efforts that this, these, uh, the, this man, this father is doing, his story keeps changing and his, his call for, his cry for help keeps changing. So we've come to a, a, a very good conclusion finally on covering his story. And so now we're trying to switch over here in the United States where we can cover what's happening here in the United States. Um, well, we started off as our own budget. <laughs> so we originally we wanted to go to Juarez to cover a story about uh, the disappearances in Juarez, the girls. But then when we started hearing the mothers chanting the word femicide, and we were wondering, well, what is that? What does that mean? And then it went from a photo essay to a documentary. And so we went in there and we started full blown going on our own budget. Two moms just trying to cover the story. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe that um, documentary is a way of connecting with people. It's becoming more and more popular where people are starting to be more aware. The social media also helps a lot. And I particularly want to talk to women because they're the ones who are not as outspoken as the men are. Get out there. You know, um, here you have the Latina Film Festival and there's somebody, there's a willing audience. Go for it, shoot, and get your camera out there. Get a little UBD camera for $500 and just start, and it'll, it'll really get you, it helps you open your doors here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Daughters of Femicide? Dot. Oh, go to Daughters of Femicide at Facebook.com and follow us, and we're gonna be updating there uh, regularly, and also, it, there's a lot of opportunities there, not only just to inform the community about femicide, but also to, uh, if you have art that you want to, you know, maybe show other people that's anti-femicide, that represents anti-femicide, we are more than happy to hear from you because we want to start posting different artworks from different people that have to do with anti-femicide. So again, daughtersoffemicide.com, uh, uh, facebook.com, yes. Yeah.